Hi, welcome. And today, let's fix this, the overheading problems on Apple Watch. So we found quite a lot of people are facing the overheading problems on their Apple Watch. So if you are using the Ultra or any old or new Apple Watch and you want to know how to solve the overheading problems, then this is exactly what you have to do. Now, the very first work that you want to do, even you start to follow any process that I'm about to explore or show, you want to just turn up your Apple Watch for about like 10 to 15 minutes to cool your watch down okay so what you can do just leave your watch maybe about 10 to 20 minutes and right after that uh, once you are able to turn on your apple watch then consider turning up and turning on these features first just go and open up your settings and on your settings you want to just go to the general and you want to scroll down here and simply tap on background app refresh and all you want to do is just go ahead and simply turn on, like turn up these particular settings on your watch. Now, next, you want to go back here. Also, uh, you want to go back to just go to the display and brightness. And here, make sure you're not using the maximum brightness level. Sometimes if you are using the max brightness level it can actually overheat your device so it can use maybe the last uh maybe a little bit of brightness not a full uh you can scroll like uh you can also scroll down here and i would all of like if your device like gets overheated like time and time again i would say just try to turn on the always one display um even though it's a pretty useful feature but if you turn these features off and it will help you to reduce down the overheading problems on your Apple Watch. Next, we are also going to look at some of the very important um, you know, settings, to be honest, like go to the accessibility here and you know, just scroll down and you want to also turn on the maximum brightness. So if you are enabling these features, I'll say just go ahead and disable that. This will also help you to reduce down your, um, you know, um, uh, you are overheating problems on your Apple Watch. At the very same time, I would also recommend you guys to reduce motion features on your Apple Watch. So if you just turn up these features in particular, so this will like stop doing all the animations on your Apple Watch and it will most likely to help you to reduce like, like reduce the overheating problems on your watch. Now, lastly, let's say you have, you have done all of that process, but still you have the same problem. You can do last to work. Um, you can either go to uh, you can either go to the settings one more times and, and go to the general. You can tap software update. So if you found well, there's a new software available. I would say just go and update it. Sometime minor bugs and glitches can be the main cause for your overheading problems. If you found there's no update, you can do one more work, uh, which is I found you know it's it's really useful. So um, what you can do, you can actually like unpair your Apple Watch completely and you can just reconnect it back again. So for that, you actually need to go to the, you know, watch applications and go to the all watches on the top. And then you want to just simply tap on this eye option here, scroll down and you can see there's option called unpair Apple Watch. Just go ahead and do it. And I can tell you guys your problem is going to be solved. After following all of the process, I can tell you guys your problem is definitely going to be solved. And still, after following all the process, if you found, um, if you have any more questions to ask, I would highly encourage you guys to just um, ask me questions in the comment section to get further help. See you guys around with another topic.